What happens if you take some flash paper and put it into a fire syringe? You absolutely should not do this, but in a previous video when I showed this fire syringe combusting regular cotton by raising the pressure and therefore its temperature, some people said that I forgot to mention that in order for this to work, the cotton needed to be treated with acid to produce nitrocellulose, the extremely flammable compound that flash paper is made of. However, I didn't mention that because it's not true. Although some other demos can use nitrocellulose, this cotton wasn't specially treated, and for this fire syringe it specifically says not to use flash paper or other fuels for risk of shattering the tube. I will show you what happens when you do use flash paper, but first I'll take some cotton from a regular Q-tip and show you that it still works as you can see here. It also works with toilet paper, but not quite as well. In general, if you don't strike it properly or don't use the right amount, it will just produce smoke and not ignite. Anyway, you absolutely should not try this at home and extreme cautions were taken to perform this experiment in a safe manner. With that said, let's see what happens starting with the small amount. That was cool, but it looked pretty similar to the cotton, so let's try it again with a bit more. On the first attempt, it seemed like there might be just too much material, and all it did was crumple. But then, on the second attempt, it did combust, with by far the largest flame, and it combusted so violently that the piston shot up rapidly and ripped out the screw that was holding it down. Although it didn't shatter, it's hopefully pretty clear why you should never do this. Thanks for watching to the end, and I'll see you next time.